So I'm in a, in an elevator with stuff. So. In today's episode, how do you do in top lovers and brother? Welcome today. It's interesting things are happening. First, I got a sort of snooty reply to one of my Instagram pictures, I guess, but I got it from a Pulitzer Prize winning writer. So, I mean, that's something, isn't it? I'll, I'll tell you later. And also, this morning, my friend Ulf asked me if I, tomorrow I would be interesting to go and help our friend Gunilla, who's moving, to carry furniture and stuff like that. And I said yes. And then he called 20 minutes ago and said, oh, he was wrong. It's today. So, am I ready? He'll pick me up real quick. He's not even going to shower. I have showered. So I think this episode is going to be about the snooty sort of reply and moving Gunilla and maybe some shopping because I mean Ulf is involved and he likes to shop so I might get my rugs today. I need to buy sort of these sort of chargeable batteries for a, a music machine I bought. Music machine, that's a nice word isn't it? God. I mean, this is from the Stone Ages. I'm wearing my Kellogg shirts. Shirts, shirt, God, I haven't talked to anyone. What else, what else, what else, what else? I saw a really nice show yesterday, but I told you that. So I'm just waiting now for him to call and say that he's sort of outside. I need a rug. No something. This was my first free Saturday. I, was, I wasn't going to do anything. I was just going to stay at home doing stuff. And then life happens. I've got a wasp inside. It needs to get out. So can you see it? Wasp or a bee, I don't know. Looking for honey, honey? No, they don't. They look for pollen, right? Yes. So, voulez-vous arriver à dehors? I speak French fluently. So, get out, motherfucker. I won't kill you, but you have to get out. Because you can't live in here. Just wanted to tell you that it, the bee is out now. I caught it in one of those jars and sort of set it free. Because I am that kind of person. Kind, good-looking. Humble and truthful. Well, I did release it, so. So, while waiting, I might as well tell you about the snooty. Well, you'd be the judge if it's snooty, but I think it is. Reply. So, I saw a play a couple of days ago, a reading of... Wait, I've got to check out her name. Sorry. Lynn Nottich. She's the first woman who won, who won the... Pulitzer Prize twice. I don't know if she's the one who won it twice for drama or just the first woman who won it, won the prize, period, twice, twice, period. Anyway, so I saw her play, a reading of her play, Mlima's Tale, and I did, really, really didn't like it. And I wrote on, I, I sort of posted a, a thing on Instagram saying that I wasn't crazy about the play. I didn't say I didn't like it. I didn't trash it. I sort of I wasn't crazy about the play, and I tagged her. I said, you know, I tag a lot. The day I got an answer from her, thanks, thanks for tagging me. Wait, I'll, I'll show you in the next post. So, do you think that was sort of snooty? I, th I thought it was kind of. It wasn't very nice. I mean, I didn't write bad things about it. I just said I wasn't crazy about the play, but I wanted to see it produced to see how it would work on stage. Hmm. Yeah, right? Tell me what you think. Am I overreacting? I'm kind of, sort of, why waste time writing to me about that? People, Ulf is outside, so I'm going up outside. This is... Very important information. Yes, that's a cleaning utensil. I was cleaning stuff when he phoned. Bye.
Hey. So this always happens, we get sort of lost. We talk and then suddenly we're off course. So we're not supposed to be here, but we are. This is Richard Attenborough for BBC Sweden. Anyway, we are on the right track and she lives up there somewhere in a crow's nest. I hope her view is fantastic. So Ulf, känner du dig liksom på väg? Nöjd? Yes. Yep. Det här, alltså, har du duschat idag? Nej. Det är ofräsch. Fransk dusch. Fransk, har du gjort en fransk dusch i alla fall? Mm. Mm. So, so, we are getting closer. We think these are the moving trucks. Somewhat really weirdly parked. <laughs> I'm young and gorgeous. And where's the fucking view? What floor? Seven. Is there an elevator? Yes. So either they already unpacked the moving truck or the bastards are waiting for us to arrive. Do they know that we're coming? No. Oh fuck, they're waiting for us. Thank you. She lives in one of those houses, I guess. So, fun fact, Ulf was, he was looking at his phone and I thought he was taking pictures of me, so I was posing. And he was trying to sort of be like, where am I, what, how do I, where, what? That's me doing an impression of him. So, want to see a nice view? Okay, right? Right, lovely. Gorgeous view. I just love the view. But not this particularly bit. Yeah, That's my favorite expression of beauty. Piss me off. So. This is one of the boats to Finland, I guess. This is, I, this is a fucking fantastic view. This is. She's got the best view I know so far. Lovely. So I'm in a, in an elevator with stuff. So, so Gunilla looks quite exhausted. My back hurts, she said, and I said, "Well, fuck that. Use a trolley or something." Because I'm that sympathetic guy. So she's got this great big storage area with a window. This is the top of the building, and she lives just below. This is Gunilla, say hi. Hi. She's gonna park the bikes up here because you don't can know where the bike me? room is. Yes, I can. You are so helpful. Yes, I am. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> okay, Gunilla, berätta lite, hur har det gått? Oj, det har gått bra. Mm. Det har gått fortare än vad jag trott. Vad hade du, vad hade du tänkt? Jag hade tänkt att det skulle vara mer jobb, men nu kommer ni två. Jocke yep. och Uffe här som en extra förstärkning, show who. Ja. Det är jag glad och tacksam över. Det är en start för det. 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 Det är en